welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for everyone who has already subscribed and welcome anyone who is new to the channel. I am Lars Studio, my name is Maria and today I'm going to quickly show you a little tutorial about roofing. So I'm just pretty much doing this for myself because I keep forgetting every single time <laughs> what which actually um, key combinations I have to press to create those really funky roof shapes. Um, that you may have seen on some builders profiles and today I'm going to show you just how to do it. So we'll start with the basics. Um, as you can see just drag and pull the roof ends um, and to make the roof larger or smaller you can click the right and left keys to just twist the roof around. Then if you hold on shift and drag this little corner here the ends of the roofs become bigger okay then as you can see there's the little circles here on the sides of the roofs as well if you drag it goes it becomes kind of an oval shape and if you drag it down it becomes very narrow at the top okay and if you click shift c there are more options now available for you to drag so as you can see there's now two cycles on here so you can literally create any funky shape as you like that's what i'm doing now Oh yeah, that looks actually pretty cool. Okay, and you can do the same thing on the other side. So if you just um, this way, click the roof, shift C, goes back, shift C again, goes back to the more options option. Okay, so this is just the normal roof. Let's try another one. See what happens. I think every single roof type has different options that you can do with it. So, oh, that's a very long we have there. So the arrow at the top makes the roof slightly smaller, and more realistic I would say. Then if you hold shift and drag, as you can see in the previous roof, all the sides are moving back and this one, only one side is moving. So if you want to achieve like kind of a little pent on top of your garden or something like that, or just on one side, so it doesn't actually grow on the other side too, because that would just be a bit weird and unnecessary, then you can do that as well. Let's just bring this back here and shift C. As you can see, there's four options now, so you can literally do that. No, it doesn't do much actually, so yeah, I think just with these two would create a funky shape that you're looking for. What does this do? Elongate? No, no. Does it do anything? Oh, okay, so it slightly brings the tail of the roof up or down only slightly so yeah if you if you like that detail then you can add it there and let's try another type of roof so what about all these optimal roofs which i actually never use i don't know if you guys use these but just don't fit in the, the build you know what i mean like for example here it's like it's just a little bit not symmetrical and if I do this, yeah, okay. So, shift C. Oh, there's a lot of options here. Go so, this way, and then turn around. Let's see what happens if we do this side. Get this one. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Ooh. Nice. Okay, good. Thank you very much, guys, for watching my little tutorial i hope you liked it and i'm just gonna put all the shortcuts and keys in the description for you so you just can copy and paste whenever you need it and um, to put it anywhere for yourself or just as a reminder when you are building you can just access it anytime you like thank you again guys and subscribe if you haven't i also post a lot of screenshots on my in on instagram channel um and basically it just provides a lot more information and the builds that i do so, see you in the next video.